Right. Yeah. But one thing that this bacterial is that th this bacterial infection is not resistant to is the natural elements in the cannabis. Mm. Uh, let me ask this question cuz wow. since we're talking about the pharmaceutical world, which is, you know, they got lobbyists that do whatever they do out there that really drives the the cost of that. Are they also in this developing a cannabis or are they still into more of the synthetic drugs uh, that really create more problems than they cre uh, harm or heal? Are you talking about our politicians? No, I'm talking about our pharmaceutical companies. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's kind of like a double-edged sword <laughs> because you know they're going to come in as soon as it becomes federally legal. I mean, they're ready now to jump okay, in. Okay. I mean, they're developing, they're researching, and they have the money to do it. But, again, they don't want us to come in. Of course. You know, and be able to create formulas um, that's going to take away from the medications they're, like, selling now, that they're prescribing now. For instance, my cream works with psoriasis. Mm -hmm. So within 12 hours, people have said, oh, my God. Mm. It's like no more itching, no more flaking, nothing. Mm -hmm. You know. How about the pain? Pain goes away, too? Pain as well. Mm. I mean, it's so amazing. It's like spider bites, the poison from spider bites. Mm -hmm. It extracts that really? within four hours. I mean, it's wow. crazy. Yeah, it's done some amazing things. Um, wow. So... But with the ph pharmaceutical, just let's go back to psoriasis for a minute. Mm -hmm. The treatment for psoriasis is about 30000 a year. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, just like 1.5 milligrams of the injectable that they have to do every couple months mm -hmm. is about $2,500. And your product, how much is that cost? $60. <laughs> so, see, you're, a threat, you're definitely a threat uh, to them. Of course. <laughs> you're a threat. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and the thing about it is is that there's so many side effects to those injectables, yeah. people don't even want to use them. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they usually don't. So and they generally either suffer or they just, you know, they'll try any type of clinical trial or anything that comes out. And, 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 and really, like, something like psoriasis is really life-changing because mm -hmm. people don't realize how severe it is and, you know, how self-conscious you can be. I know people that have not even, like, wore a short sleeve shirt right. in 20 years. Right. Well, because that's that commercial that they advertise about the injectable, right, is, you know, you, you now can be part of regular life because right. you're now taking this drug. But then below that, the small print says oh, that yeah. this drug will create liver conditions. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you now can come yeah. out in short sleeves, but you're going to die yeah. from yeah, right. all the other pieces. <laughs> but not, it's important. You come out in the, your sleep. The side effects are, are worse than <laughs> the, the original the, the, ailment. Right, That's right, exactly. So I That's can see right. we get a lot of pushback from pharmaceutical companies because, you know, $30,000 is a lot of money. You know, when you want to come out and, you you know, you have a disease that you need a drug. And I'm totally and completely against all drugs myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm all about the herbal because right. I think, you know, the Indians, that's how they actually treated their ailments. You that's know? how everybody uh, treated. Everybody. You know, we go you, back yeah. tens yeah, of twenties of thousands. Africans, of, right? Africa, <laughs> I mean, Africa. that, yeah. that, yeah. yeah. I mean, and cannabis has been a cure-all, you know, forever until 1937. Right. You know, until it started really interfering in a lot of industries. Because when you think about it, the textile industry, you know, with cotton, mm -hmm. you know, you think about the lumber industry with paper, mm -hmm. you know, and then you think about the yeah. fuel industry because it can create fuel. Right. Yeah. I mean, then you think about hempcrete, mm -hmm. you know, and then the pharmaceuticals, of course, mm -hmm. you know. So it, inf it interferes with the largest industries in the world. So, of course, they want to, you know, make it illegal. But uh -oh, now, you know, with the power of the people, I mean, because we really are strong, we're stronger together. And if, if people would just understand that as constituents, we vote, you know, our politicians in and out of office. Mm -hmm. So we do have the power to do that. Yes, we do. So this is how we can create movement mm -hmm. in our industry. I, I think it, 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 it could be very revolutionary for our community. And again, it's about disseminating that information. It's about people like yourself, or like myself, like our next guest, the Virgil Grant is coming up, is one of Sherry, uh, uh, Sherry Franklin, right. that we want to collectively come together to make sure that we we can enter into this industry. Uh, Absolutely. However we need to do it, we need to be creative about it. We need to be stealth about it, actually. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I mean, you know what? At this point, I'm a, you know, I mean, I know Virgil very well, and Virgil's been very instrumental, and in, you know, the Measure M passing and things like that. And we've got a lot of resistance because we have, we're one of the few people that have organizations that represent people of color. Mm -hmm. And as much as people want to get on our face and say, "Oh, you're doing great work," trust me, they don't like us. And, oh, yeah, you know, we know. they yeah. don't like what we support. And but for us, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I mean. I think Virgil and Donnie and I are very, very similar in the sense that um, people people are a bit afraid of us because we we speak the truth and we speak our minds, and we don't play that political game mm -hmm. because you know what? For me, it's not a popularity contest. Mm -hmm. It's about really being effective mm -hmm. and making sure that our communities get what they deserve. And because I'm telling you, people of color should. Be able to be in this industry, and you have a movement behind you. Absolutely, that, that's mm -hmm. why they're afraid. Ab yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm working with Freeway, Freeway Rick Ross, and I yeah. don't know if, if you know who he is, Ricky Ross. Name, yeah. yeah. Well, he's big in all these communities, yeah. and so he's going to be another person that will help our movement because people trust yeah. what he says because he's lived it. He's like the poster child for war on drugs. Yeah. Mm. You know, he's served 20 years because I mean, he had life without parole. Yeah. Oh wow. And he did his own um, appeal and won, and he's out. That's oh, great. wow. And he's yeah. about the movement. So the, these, see, for, for all of us, it's real important that we have, you know, just true activists that are willing to get out there in the communities, you know, not, not just, you know, hang up in, in Beverly Hills and, yeah. and hang at these, you know, socials. Yeah. Right. You know, you have to get into the communities. Right. Yeah. Now, let me talk a little bit more about your product again, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm intrigued by that. <laughs> so where, where is your product available right now? Is it online? Is it in a store? Yes, it was available online on my website. Um, we took it down a few months ago Why? just because we were getting so many issues with the DEA. Um, not personally, but a lot of my friends that have companies like Green Roads, um, Charlotte's Web, they all receive letters from the DEA saying to cease and desist. Why? Mm. Why, though? Because they own the patent on CBD. Who own the patent? The government. Really? Yes. They've got, they bought the patent on the CBD, or they obtained the patent on the CBD, so... What we have to do now and what we've all been doing is we have been repackaging. Right. Mm. And we have to watch the way that we market because we can't, of course, market the conventional way. Mm -hmm. And we can't use the word or the letter CBD on our ingredients, our ingredient label, or on our labels, period. So you can market it without talking about those things. Yeah, like Charlotte's Web, they were very, they were very clever. They, um, their new marketing slogan is, hemp better than CBD. Right. Ah, okay, because okay. theirs was clearly a CBD product. Right, right. If you don't know what Charlotte's Web is, it's that was the CBD product that stopped seizures. Yeah. Oh, for the little girl, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah. So uh, the Stanley Brothers created that. Right. So they started rebranding, remarketing, and all that. And that's what all of us have had to do that have CBD products. Right. Um, so that's that's what we're doing now. And then we'll be back in the market probably after the first of the year. So if somebody okay. wants to get a hold of your product right now, they have to wait until uh, after the first of the year? Yeah, but that's okay. They can go to our website, which is That Glass Jar. It's not, I know you said oh, The I'm Glass not, Jar, no, but that's that, okay. Okay, it's sorry. That Glass, that glass Jar. Right. Okay. And, and the story behind that was that when my girlfriend was dying of the MRSA, mm -hmm. um, people, she was very famous. She had a reality show. So... She had a big audience, so it went viral. Mm. So what happened is they were following the story of when she was sick, mm -hmm. and then when she was diagnosed um, with, um, I, well, the death sentence of, of yeah. dying. They mm -hmm. said, well, she had two weeks to live if she did not get the, the area completely amputated, which she refused. Oh, my gosh. And so then what happened was that she basically went home, started writing her will, Mm. And then she called me and said, Bo, you know, I know you work with oils because I worked with, like, cancer oils mm -hmm. okay. or, or oils for cancer.